Hello and uh, welcome to this next video on uh, basic electrical repairing. Uh, in the earlier videos, we understood what a series and parallel connection are and we also used the multimeter to test the voltage. In this video, we will try and understand how we can connect a voltmeter and an ampere meter and use these to find out the voltage that is passing through a particular circuit or the ampere or the load that a particular component is taking from the mains. So, we are going to be using an ampere meter and a voltmeter. Both these are analog meters that we have in front of us now. The ampere meter is shown by A and the voltmeter you can see that the device has a V symbol in it. And in between them we have a resistance or a bulb that we are going to be used to make this entire circuit. Now, you must always remember that the ampere meter is always placed in a series connection and it is either placed in the neutral side or in the face side. You can decide where you want to place the ampere meter. It should always be in a series connection and it should be only in either the neutral side or the face side. You should not connect neutral and face to an ampere meter. Whereas, a voltmeter is something that you will connect in a parallel connection and the voltmeter has two leads which need to be connected to the phase and neutral connections very clearly. So, you must always remember this particular aspect whenever you are using a voltmeter or an ammeter to try and check the voltage or ampere that is flowing through a particular circuit. So, this is the ampere meter, it is an analog ampere meter. We also have a lot of digital meters available today and we will show you one such meter in a little while from now. The ampere meter has uh, two leads and these two leads have to be connected in the series connection and should only be connected either in the face side or either in the neutral side. You can choose where you want to connect them. If you are uh, connecting them in the neutral side, then you must connect both the ends on the neutral side only. In a voltmeter, you will always have a phase and a neutral and this is an analog voltmeter and both these leads need to be connected to the phase and neutral. So, the black can be connected to the neutral and the red one to the phase. We are going to be using a resistance here in the form of a bulb. This is a 200 volt bulb. It is a quite a heavy uh, uh, load and we are going to use this to show the load in the ampere because the smaller bulbs will take very less load. and uh, an analog uh, ammeter may not be able to display the load very clearly and that is the reason why we are using a larger uh, capacity bulb, a 200 watt bulb to show the current or the load using the analog ampere meter. So, the connections are like this. On one end, we take one end of the ampere meter and then connect it to either the face or the neutral. Take the other lead of the ampere meter and then connect it to the phase of the resistance 1. So, you have uh, lead 1 of ampere meter going to the mains, lead 2 of the ampere meter connected to lead 1 of R1. The lead 2 of R1 or the bulb is going to be connected to the neutral part of it. So, the lead 2 is going to be connected to the lead 1 or the neutral lead of the voltmeter and we connect the other lead 2 of the voltmeter directly to the face or the red color wire. So, if you see the circuit, effectively speaking, the voltmeter is connected in parallel so, the neutral of the voltmeter is connected to the neutral of the main line. The, the phase of the voltmeter is connected to the phase of the main line. On the other side, you have connected the ammeter only in the phase line connecting the bulb to the main line. So, let us try and uh, take a look at the entire circuit once again. So, you have one end is connected to the mains, the phase. The other end of ammeter is connected to the lead 1 of R1. 
the lead 2 of R1 is then connected to the neutral point. The voltmeter is connected to the phase and neutral directly. So you can see that, uh, so the phase is connected to the phase of voltmeter and the neutral is connected to the neutral of voltmeter. So the voltmeter is in a parallel connection, it gets both positive or phase and neutral. The bulb here has phase in neutral, neutral is connected to the direct neutral point, the phase is connected to one end of the ampere meter, the other end of the ampere meter is connected to the main phase supply. So we are now going to switch on the entire circuit and see what is the voltage and ampere that's passing through this entire circuit. Now let's switch this on and see how much voltage and ampere is flowing through this. I'll turn it on and the circuit is on now. Now let's try and look at the voltmeter. The voltmeter has a reading of around 200 volts, so which is roughly what you get and in the ampere meter is uh, roughly around 0.6 amperes. So voltmeter is roughly around 200 to 230 volts is an analog voltmeter. You can use a digital multimeter to exactly find out how much is it and the ampere meter is roughly around 0.6 or 0.8. You can see that the indicator is around the 1, one uh, ampere indicator but it's usually slightly less than 1, it's roughly around 0.6 or 0.7 ampere. It's a pretty less load, even a 200 watt bulb takes just about 0.6 ampere load and that's the reason why analog multi uh, uh, ammeter may not be able to display it very clearly. If you have larger equipments which take more uh, supply, uh, the display will go up uh, or the indicator will go up. You can also find this ampere using a digital clamp meter or tongue tester. You place it in the ampere 200 point position. Uh, the knob is placed there and then you insert the clamps into the phase or the neutral line and you will be able to see digitally it is giving us a 0.6 ampere indication. So the clamp meter or the tongue tester gives you a much sharper reading whereas the analog ampere meter will give you an approximate reading. These days digital is, uh, tools are available and you can actually use the digital tools to easily do it. In fact a, a tongue tester or a clamp uh, uh, meter is far more easier to use uh, because it does not require you to connect uh, any wires to any specific uh, components. So in this video, we tried understanding how we connect a voltmeter and an ampere meter and in order for you to remember it very clearly, ampere meter must be connected in a series connection and must be placed either at the phase line or at the neutral line of uh, the resistance. Uh, the voltmeter needs both the phase and neutral to be supplied directly to it for it to function because it's measuring the voltage at both these points and therefore a voltmeter is always connected in a parallel connection directly to the phase and neutral. And using this you will be able to understand what voltage is passing through the uh, circuit and how much is the load on a particular component. Naturally, you can use digital tools instead of these tools these days. So, digital multimeter and a clamp meter or a tongue tester is far more easier for you to understand voltage and ampere exactly as it is in the system. So, let's keep learning. Thank you very much.